Did you know that you can now generate images directly into InDesign and even use reference images to enhance your results? Want to learn how? Then check out this pro tip. With the document open, the first thing you will need is to have the text to image panel open. Come up to window, scroll down and click on text to image. Now in this example, I want to generate an image of a bowl of tomato salsa for this recipe over on the right. So with my image frame selected and the panel open, first type into the text prompt for what you would like. Once you have your description, click generate. Upon click, images will be generated inside the panel and one will appear in your frame. Now, if you're not happy with your initial result, you can keep generating by hitting the generate button or tweak your prompts to refine your search and generate more. Each time, you will generate more examples in the panel. With more results and your frame selected, you can click through your results in your panel to see more in your frame. Easy. So when you generate an image in InDesign, you will see a new link in the links panel. Here, you can right click and reveal the image in Finder where you can either leave it there or copy and paste it somewhere else on your computer. This is now an image file you can work with. So that's the simplest way to generate an image. This time, if we click the advanced button, a menu will open where you will have a lot more options to generate an image. Here you can set the custom aspect ratio, set a content type and customize your image. So this time I'll type in the same prompt. I'll choose an aspect ratio and this is where it gets more interesting. For example, for content type, I'll click on art. I'll click on style effect. And here we have a huge range of styles we can click on. In this instance, I'll come down and click on origami and click generate and the results will be far more stylized. Back into advanced, in the styles option, you can click more than one to mix it up a little. This time I'll go with pop art and layered paper. Click generate and up will come some further styled examples. So keep in mind, you can play around with these to get more specific styles. Now one last example, and this is where it gets really cool. Back into advanced, I'll use the same prompt as before. I'll click on photo with no style. And this time I'll use an image as a reference. I'll click on reference image. I'll click upload and upload a reference image of a bowl of salsa. Click generate and the results should be more specific to the reference image. Awesome. So that's how you can generate images in InDesign. So many options with loads of possibilities. Be creative with your prompts and you should get some awesome results. For more pro InDesign tips and tricks, check out the channel and be sure to like and subscribe for more. Until next time, unleash your creativity and I'll see you in the next one.